how to implement MQTT protocol on Ignition and also how to set up the MQTT in order to make this work. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need making sure is uh, before you do anything on Ignition uh, software, you need download, you need to have this with on your computer. So you need to download like this MQTT distributor model, uh, MQTT engine model and MQTT transmission model. So you need to download this tree here. And once you did download, you need to go to the, your gateway. And here on your gateway, so in this example, I'm using here the Ignition Maker Edition version, but you can do on the standard version, gonna be working the same, the same way. So here on the modules, on the config modules, you need install here. So the first you need, just remember, you need download here manually. And after that here on the modules, you need install. So I will not show installing because I, I already installed it, like in this way, like I said right now. So you need to install these three, um, these three uh, uh, models here, distributor, engine, and transmission. So once you did that, you're gonna see like these three at the bottom here, you're gonna see these three settings. So let's go to the first settings here, MQTT distributor. So what you need to do here really is you need enable for sure, enable the MQTT server. And after that, you need to create a user. So I have the admin user. I just created the son of user here uh, for gonna subscribe and publish on all, um, on all topics for MQTT. So we have like the write and read and write permission for all the topics here. So I created this here, call it Sonoff. And after that, okay, let's take a look on another settings here. So basically I didn't change nothing on the another settings here. So they are, looks the same here. So I have like this, this is the server, localhost 1883 port. Um, I don't have nothing here as well. The name is space, custom. So they are exactly the same, okay. So let's take a look at another example here. So we have this, we have engine that I were already uh, told you, I'll show you guys here. So the next step is on the model side. So the first thing is my gateway is this IP address here, 192.168.4.155. And on my device, let's take this device here. This controls my swimming pool here, my the motor control for my swimming pool. So I have here like this Sonoff device, and they are in this device communicating with MQTT. So let's take a look how it's configured here. So let's go to the configuration. And here on the configured MQTT. So let's take a look here. So here I have the host. So this is the MQTT server IP. So in my case, I have like 192.168.4.155. So this is what I put over here. The port is 1883. This is the standard port. Um, this is the client. So I put like pool motor. This is the, the name that I gave. So I put this name here for now. This is the user. This is the user is the user that I created here on. Oops, let me, let me go here again. So this is the name that I created here on users. So that is a sound off. I put the username and password when I created. So I put the username and the password here as well. Um, and after that, we have the topic. So the topic is the name that I gave as well. I put pull motor here for now and I click save. So, and that, that, that's it. So it's done. Now, to make sure that your MQTT, uh, it is working and your Ignition uh, can see the MQTT configuration automatic, you need to open your design 
So ignition design that I already opened here. So on your ignition design on the tag browser. So you need go here on MQTT and JNJ. And here on the MQTT, you're gonna see um, pull motor here. That means I'm reading and ignition subscribed, subscribed already on this topic. So this is the reason that we can see here. And here we can see all the informations. So let me go do that. So info one, I can see what is the model name, what is the version of Tasmota. Um, we can see um, like the command, we can see the IP address as well. We can see the pool name, uh, the host name. Uh, we can see the web server mode. So we can see a lot of things. We can we can take a look that it is online. Um, so the device is online. This is the information that um, I can I can uh, get this information from the device. So and here we can, we have the energy. We have total start time yesterday, today, uh, power, reactive power, factor, voltage, current. So everything that this device can give me. I am getting from the ignition. So you, in this way, you know, automatic, this is automatic, right? This is not something that I created. I just created um, the MQTT, the settings that I showed you right now, and that's it. Automatic was connected with my device because I already set up here on the MQTT. So this is, what I'd like to show you guys. I hope you enjoy a lot and see you next video.